Hello fellow peoples of the internet. I am APAP5 and today I am sitting on the floor in my room in my pajamas because I was just editing a video and I went out front onto the front porch to set out some stuff for my dad and I realized we had all this mail on our front porch and it's 930. So um, great job dad for checking the mail. Anyways, so in this package is, as you probably guessed for, from the title, a box. Yes, just a box. No, it's <laughs> in this box is full of pens because I ordered a bunch of pens from Goulet Pens with some of my graduation money. And I'm um, just going to look in it now. Spin it around so you don't see the address. The address was on the other side. So in here is three bottles of ink, because that's one of the best things about fountain pens. If you didn't know, the Goulet Pen Company like specializes in fountain pens. Um, one of the coolest things about them is you can buy your own bottled ink, which is cool. And that's what those three things are that I'm talking about. And I came again to the tape, and I know how they package these things, so this is going to be fun. Um, if you can't tell, this whole box is wet because it's been sitting outside all day and th I'm, I'm just glad I know how the Goulet Pen Company wraps this so I don't have to worry. As you can tell at the beginning of it, um, they always give you a Tootsie Pop. This one's chocolate flavored, I think, and I don't really like chocolate flavored, so that will stay off to the side. Now in here is an insane amount of bubble, bubble wrap, and inside the bubble wrap is a bunch of cellophane that's blue. Um, comes with or they give you a bookmarker a card that just tells you they packed everything to a slightly ridiculous amount and a sticker that I keep dropping everything so I'm going to go on the other side of this very rocky camera and try to unpackage this I, as I sit accidentally on all this bubble wrap, this bubble wrap is like very loose and bubbly, so I can't wait to pop all that. I can see all the boxes of ink here. I'm going to try not to show too much off at first because I want this to be, you know, I don't want everyone to see everything at once because then it won't be as interesting of a video, right? All this wrapping. Okay, a pen fell out. I'm gonna put that over here. Um, so, I think this is where we'll begin. This is a bulb syringe, which is like those things that parents use to suck the boogers out of children, and uh, they're terrifying. However, this is for a completely different purpose. This is to clean a pen because it's easier to like suck up water with this and then push it through the sort of section of a pen. And, and through the feed and through the nib to get all the ink out of it instead of constantly um, filling it and emptying it with water. Uh, there's another thing here. Wait, two? Did I accidentally order two? Or did they accidentally give me two? Well, that could be a problem. Okay, now I guess we'll just get to the rest of this. The uh, cellophane has a weird static -y almost feel to it. Um, okay, the pins are in boxes, so I'll set the boxes here. You know what that logo is if you're into pens, and that's a brand. Um, okay, here's some inks. Still can't manage to get this open. Uh, yeah, I would only say this is a slightly ridiculous amount of packaging. It's not ridiculous or anything, just slightly. Oh my god. I'll put that that way so you don't know what's in it. Okay, now that the inks are well and shook up, uh, Noodlers. That's a, like, very sort of good ink brand. They have tons of different colors, and 
I can't seem to get the box open, but this this one's one of their colors that they named after a um, Civil War battle, and the art on it. There we go. And I, I researched this battle here, and this battle was sort of won and lost by both sides. I think it was like the battle with the most casualties in American war history, and I think the Confederacy technically won, but since both suffered many losses, and then after uh, they won this battle, they ended up losing like the next battle or something, so it was all for nothing. Or something I forget I'm saying something too much anyways that was history but in here let's try not to drip red ink on my blue carpet even though this carpet's stained enough it's this uh, reddish orange color which I think looks really nice usually they used to um put all their inks in glass bottles but noodlers is always having problems finding uh, different kinds of bottles to put things in so this I can actually leave out on my desk because it's not um, a translucent bottle. Translucent bottles, if you leave them out on your desk too long, light might affect them. Uh, then this, this is really cool. Actually, I should probably show this last. You know what this is. Um, this is Iroshizuku Pilot makes this um, Kanpeki. And it's just a really nice shade of blue that I wanted. And it's in a nice bottle. I think this was the most expensive one because it's in a nice bottle. Noodler's is like the most cost-effective one. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love the glass and how sparkly it is. So I'll put that over there. And then this. Diamine or Diamine um, Shimmering Seas. Now the cool thing about this ink is it's like a bluish color. You can't really tell in this. I might show up some photos, but there's gold specks in it, and when you write, um, you can sort of see gold flecks in it. Yeah, you can see how sort of sparkly that is in there. It's like the light reflecting off the gold specks. Anyways, there's another cool bottle too. The cap on this is kind of small, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit all the pens I have in there. I could always just dip the ink cartridge in, which was this thing I threw away earlier. This is what's in um, a lot of pens. Uh, basically what holds all the ink. And I can just fill this up and then put it into the pen, and that would just take a few minutes for the ink to go through the feed where I could actually write. Okay, now this, everyone's been telling me to get one of these online, but I really like the Jin Hao's actually, which is like a really cheap Chinese pen brand. And um, I recently got a Pilot Metropolitan, which writes really nice, but I don't really like how it feels. So I decided to get this, which is another starter pen, as people call them. It's I, the um, converter here is to go in this, by the way. It's a blue Lamy Safari, which is like a plastic fountain pen and they have their warranty policy there I, al I always wanted one of these because I think they um this is a ink cartridge if you don't want to use bottled ink um yeah I always thought these looked cool online not really the design of it but just that they made a pen out of plastic I don't know it looks darker blue than it does on the camera but I think this will force me to learn how to write properly because I write like this. I, I sometimes write sideways like this, but maybe this will force me to write properly again. So that's the uh, my Lamy Safari that I bought with the ink converter, which just goes where that ink cartridge was, and I can fill it up with ink. Uh, save this for last because that's the coolest thing I have here. Then this fell out of the box, or of the bag when I first opened it. It's a very sparkly Jinhao X750. I already have an X750, but I thought this being very sparkly was cool. I mean, it's not much different than the other thing. This comes with a free ink converter with that lamp Lamy Safari. I had to purchase it. So the Lamy Safari with the ink converter is like 35 bucks. I'm not sure if I would call that a starter pen when you can get a... Um, 
Twisby Eco for that money. But these are really cool. These are like seven bucks. You can get them for like three dollars on Amazon, but I bought it from Goulet's for ten dollars because I really like their business. And this is a Twisby pen. This is not the Twisby Eco. I can't open this. Where's my knife when I need it? This is a Kershaw something or other. Speaking of random branded stuff, as I poke my pillow over there. Ooh, white styrofoam. Can't wait to rip this in half later. And I've been purposely not looking at the box of these in unboxings because I think it's cool and I wanted to enjoy unboxing it myself. Twisby, this is a Twisby Mini. So a Twisby Mini is it is a piston filling pen and this is the demonstrator model which means the middle is translucent this casing is very um very much like the apple case twisby manages to make really cool looking pens with like most piston filling pens aren't under a hundred dollars i feel like but um they make these like really nice pens inexpensively because they operate straight out of Taiwan. It's a Taiwanese company. The tape isn't scotch tape, so it easily actually comes off with your fingernail, which is nice. It's unlike those stupid GameStop stickers you can never get off. Um, anyways, I got the tape on my hand. Yes, so this is the classic model. And the classic model is has the black cap and knob on the end of it, but it's translucent in the middle. They also have a completely translucent one and an all black one. Um, but I went with this because I thought this looked super cool. Now, since this doesn't use converters and you basically just twiddle this thing down here to... Um, Make the piston go up and down to fill it with ink. That is super smooth. That is smoother than any converter I've been playing with. You can see all the ink in there, and I, I feel like halfway through you can wash it, slosh around a little bit, even though this is a smaller reservoir comparatively to the Eco. I just think that that's going to be really cool to use. Since I have semi-small hands, I feel like I could write with this without it posted, but I will be writing with it posted. Um, it twists on the back, and then, eh, I got it sort of sideways on there, but, yes. <laughs> I don't really know what to say, that's really cool. All these pens are in a medium, because I don't like how fine a fine is. I'm sort of in between a European medium and a Japanese medium. I like somewhat, somewhat of both. I don't want anything bigger than a European medium, and I don't want anything thinner than a Japanese medium, so I just always end up getting the mediums. This Twisby pen looked to have a European um, nib size on it when I looked on Goulet's nib nook. However, some people said they're more like a Japanese pen because they're made in Taiwan. However, I don't know who to trust, probably the Goulet's, but I, I can't get over this pen. It just looks amazing to me. I really like how this pen looks, and it's got the nice Twisby logo up there. The um the Eco doesn't have this this nice of a end on it. It's more of a, a cheaper look because it's a cheaper pen. The Twisby is an amazing price point pen. I was thinking about getting an or did I say the Twisby? I meant it. The Twisby Eco is an amazing price point pen, and I really was going to get that originally, but I ended up getting that because I had the money and I thought it looked cooler. So I managed to get a Lamy Safari, a Twisby Eco, um Hopefully the Lamy Safari writes really good because everyone's been telling me to buy that. Got this really sparkly pen. It's probably kind of feminine for me to be writing with, but I think it looks cool. I'll just tell people I'm a magician and this is meant to confuse them or something. A really nice blue bottle of Roshizuku Kanpeki. Two of these things, I only meant to get one. Um, however you pronounce that place and Shimmering Seas, which is another cool ink. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing with pens for a while. I'll see you guys later.